Welcome spring! Spring fever is here and boy do I have it, especially after making this awesome spring dress. Hello everyone, my name is Karen Carr and this is my channel Karen Francis. And today's video is another edition of Hashtag Friday Sews. Thank you so much to everyone watching today. Your support really means a lot to me. So pop in a comment, let me know what you're sewing. Let's chat a bit and get to know each other. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and introduce yourself. I would love to hear from you this first time. I have been sewing a little over a year now and I tend to get enthusiastic over wins that might seem small to other people, but for me as a new sewer, when I do something right that works, I get really excited. So this week, what worked? bus starts. I was super successful in lowering the bus start. I know, right? But these simple successes are really important to a new sewer because it makes us feel like we could do more and more and to build on top of those skills. So usually what I would do when I approached a pattern that had the bus start way up here is I would simply leave it out because I didn't feel that I had enough skills to lower that dart. This time I challenged myself and I took my little dart that I copied and I just moved it down two inches. And literally it is that simple to get a better look. I have to give credit to the Pansy Dress by Rosary Apparel. This is the dress pattern that I used for this dress. Uh, it really fit me well besides those modifications and I, I couldn't, couldn't have done it without the pattern. What I didn't realize is just by doing that simple maneuver, taking this down two inches, I got a much flatter appearance on the top of this dress and it fits really well around the waist as well. I had um, stayed away from high collared shirts just because they would bunch up here and they would never look right on me, but I really think that was because of, uh, because of the darts and they just weren't in the right place. So when I lowered them, I also increased the, uh, the waistline here by about two inches to bring those other two waist darts down a bit here. So you can see the results worked well, or at least in my opinion. Another thing I did with this pattern is color blocking, and I'm really glad I did because I like the cute style. It took a bit of preparation up front because the pansy dress does not come with uh, separate panels for color blocking, so I had to make my own. Basically what I did is I just measured uh, the front bodice and divided it into thirds, and then I cut out a separate pattern. So you see this is my front third, I hope you can see that. That's the front third of uh, the bodice. And then this is the front two thirds, the other half. So, and of course, if you're doing this, you have to make sure you, you add your seam allowance. I, I also did the same thing on the skirt. This skirt is a rectangular shape. It's basically a big rectangle. So all I did was measured a third of the rectangle and that turned out to be about 17 inches. And that is how I got this half of the skirt. And then I cut this half, the larger half on the fold. So that is actually double 17 inches. And it was actually a lot easier than I expected as long as you remember your seam allowances, it'll work out really well. So I encourage you guys to try that, especially if you are avoiding trying to match patterns. So I was worried about matching the checks together and I thought actually somebody gave me a suggestion in the comments, thank you so much. Uh, and I, I thought this actually worked out really well. In fact, I have a video coming up on the whole process, which I will probably post next week.
Next week, I'd still like to continue my series on color blocking with the pansy dress because it fit me so well and I already have the pattern cut out to perfection. What I decided to try is floral. So this time, I am going to match this gorgeous fuchsia floral with the pink check. And if you look closely, if you can, they actually have the same colors in them. The floral has the pink and also the yellow that the check has as well. So I think those are going to match really well. I'm not going to do it the same way where I color block a third and two thirds. What I think I'd like to try is uh, maybe I'll do a third and a third and a third. I haven't quite decided yet. And I also want to play around with the skirt. I might give it some more layers, you know, like a, uh, like a wedding cake. I might have a, a couple of ruffles on the side or something like that. Sort of uh, like this image, if I can remember to post it, I'll show you. I'm thinking of trying that next week. And then there's that DIY project that if you recall, I think several weeks ago, I said I was gonna DIY a pair of corduroys and make them into a pair that fit me. I still have a plan to do that. In fact, I'm uh, roping in the four other corduroy pants I have. So I have a black pair, a dark blue, a tan, and a brown. And I'm spending some more time thinking about what I wanna do because I wanna to try to be really creative, but I also wanna make something I'm actually gonna wear. So if you wanna see another version of the pansy dress, why don't you like and subscribe? And I will see you next week. That's all for now. Thank you.